Summit Webcast Series on the European Council. Webcast on the institution's role in the Brexit negotiations. The official process of withdrawal is only triggered when the state that seeks to leave the EU officially notifies its intention to the European Council. This notification starts a two-year period after which the EU treaties cease to apply to the country. Article 50 initially requires that the European Council sets guidelines for transitional arrangements and the future relationship between the country and the EU. These shall then be negotiated in accordance with Article 218 of the Treaty on the Functioning of the EU. This article firstly requires that the Commission submits recommendations to the Council. The Council then needs to authorise the opening of the negotiations by nominating a union negotiator who has to find an agreement with a withdrawing state. This agreement is finally concluded by the Council and the withdrawing state. However, it also needs the consent of the European Parliament. Finally, with the entry into force of the agreement, the treaties of the European Union cease to apply to the withdrawing state. If the negotiators fail to find an agreement, the treaties cease to apply to the country after the two years period anyways. Let's have a closer look at the European Council's role in Article 50. The institution is in a key position at the first stages of the process. By setting guidelines for the arrangements of withdrawal and the future relationship, it defines what needs to be done. I.e. No further steps whatsoever can formally be taken without the guidelines of the European Council. In the case of Brexit, the European leaders emphasized right at the beginning that no negotiations of any kind would take place before the UK notifies to the European Council its withdrawal. Thus, the process only starts when Theresa May triggers Article 50.